Loading McGuire made the comments while commentating for Fox Footy on Friday night. Bannum, an academic and former Sydney Morning Herald journalist who had both legs amputated after a plane crash in Indonesia in 2007, appeared to struggle as she tossed the coin while holding her walking stick. I think we should introduce a $5,000 fine to anybody who's tossing the coin and can't do it properly. McGuire said on air before the game, Every week, we have someone dropping it on their foot. Come on, toss it up properly, for goodness sake. Practice in the week, you know you're going to do it. It can't be that hard can it, guys, Peter Campbell, the head of Fox Sports, said the broadcaster was disappointed with McGuire's comments, following comments Eddie McGuire made about coin tossing during last night's coverage of the Sydney v Adelaide game, Eddie has requested not to call today's game, Campbell said. We support this decision, we are disappointed with the comments made and we deeply apologize to Cynthia, her family and the Sydney Football Club. McGuire's decision comes as Sydney chairman Andrew Pridham called for the AFL to take action against McGuire for his comments about Bannum. I think the AFL has an obligation to show leadership in these matters. This all comes down to their vilification policies and how to deal with these things. Pridham said on Saturday. Swans chairman Andrew Pridham has urged the AFL to act over the incident. To do nothing, say nothing is highly inadequate, credit. Photo, Peter Bragg, in the past we've seen where the AFL has been far too slow to respond to things and not have a great feeling for what the community is thinking, these are the situations where they need to show leadership, whatever form that may be, to do nothing, say nothing is highly inadequate, the Swans were furious with the league for its response to the booing of club legend Adam Goods by opposition fans in 2015, loading the club released a statement overnight saying they were, incredibly disappointed by Maguire's, inappropriate, comments, the comments show not only a lack of empathy, but also ignorance, the club said in the statement. On Saturday, Pridham said McGuire's comments were very hard to reconcile. The club is all about respect, inclusion, diversity, Pridham said. He described Phantom, the club's number one ticket holder, as a fantastic person who doesn't deserve to be in the middle of all this. We're extremely disappointed. These things can't continue to happen. There need to be some consequences when people stuff up. At halftime, McGuire issued an unreserved apology to Bannum, claiming his comments were not directed at her. It had nothing to do with Cynthia Bannum, who was the coin tosser tonight at the SCG and has a disability. McGuire said, I just want to apologize if this was communicated in the wrong way. I did not mean to offend anyone, especially Cynthia, and I apologize unreservedly to her, her family and friends, Swan supporters, and anybody watching tonight who took it that way. My apologies there, for that comment, the AFL declined to respond to Pridham's comments. A spokeswoman for the AFL said McGuire's comments did not reflect the organization's values, however, did not specify if any further action would be taken. Eddie McGuire last night reached out to Cynthia Bannum, the Sydney Swans and the AFL to apologize unreservedly for his inappropriate on-air comments. He acknowledges his comments caused distress.